Australia has been moving quickly to keep ISIS fighters who join the militant group from coming home. And today, Parliament is taking it even further, considering a bill to strip citizenship from the children of jihadists. That debate is happening just as the family of a man believed to have been killed fighting with ISIS makes an appeal to return home. Christy Lou Stout reports. The wife of one of Australia's most notorious ISIS fighters wants to come home, according to a written statement that her mother provided to Australian media. Karen Nettleton asked the Australian Prime Minister to help bring her daughter and five grandchildren home. Nettleton's daughter, Tara, is the widow of Khalid Sharouf, a jihadi who is believed to have recently died in a drone strike in ISIS-controlled territory. Australian authorities say they are still working to confirm his death. A Sharouf first made headlines when he tweeted a photo of his seven-year-old son holding a severed head. And Karen Nettleton asked for compassion for her family. My daughter made the mistake of a lifetime, she wrote. Today, she is a parent alone in a foreign and vicious land, looking after a widowed 14-year-old and four other young children. Uh, the 14-year-old is the couple's daughter, who married her father's best friend, a man also believed killed in the drone strike. And the Australian Parliament has made it a crime for any of its citizens to travel to Syria without an official purpose. Prime Minister Tony Abbott says there will not be special treatment for the family of Sharouf. Uh, yes, you can't convict the kids on the basis of the crimes of the parents, but nevertheless, um, they will be dealt with uh, in exactly the same way as the families of uh, criminals are normally dealt with. Abbott's government has also introduced a controversial bill that would strip the children of foreign fighters of their citizenship as long as they had a second nationality. Christy Lustout, CNN, Hong Kong.